get reaction, let's speak now to David Mensah, who's a spokesman for the Israeli government. He joins me live now from Tel Aviv. David Mensah, thank you so much for being here on BBC News. Your reaction to that, first of all. Well, firstly, thank you, uh, Matthew, for having me on. Look, the truth is about uh, Francesca Albanese is that she is not an impartial, uh, re uh, someone that looks at this whole conflict impartially. She's got a record as long as your arm. Uh, just in 2022, the Congress uh, from people from congressmen from both sides of the House uh, said that she wasn't she should resign because she has a ridiculous hatred of my nation state. She doesn't even believe that Israel should exist. She's made that clear again and again and again. So, look, it is a terrible conflict which is going on uh, in Gaza. It's a war. It's a terrible war which we didn't want, we didn't ask for, and it is terrible when civilians are killed. But the truth, the truth of the matter is, is that the, the, the combat ratio right now while it's very unpleasant, is one to one. That means one terrorist to one civilian. That's what the prime minister has made clear. So these ridiculous remarks by Francesca Albanese, they really shouldn't be given uh, any credence no, well, because she is unfortunately got a long, long record of hatred for my country. I don't well, think she, that she, she will even obviously she obviously Israel. disputes that. Of course she would. And, of course she and, would. And, of course she would. I, Reminded the, I'm it, reminded of the phrase of playing the man, not the ball, which uh, yeah. means that you're going well, after her phrase, rather Matthew. than addressing the issues. Let me talk yeah. about the issues because she lists, and it is a long list, why she considers that they've reached the threshold for genocide. One of the reasons is that she talks about the restrictions of aid supplies. Now, it's not just her saying that. It is not just the UN. It is not just aid agencies. You had the UK Foreign Secretary only a few days ago talking about Israel impeding the delivery of aid supplies. You had the EU's foreign policy chief saying this is a man-made famine made by Israel. So you can go after Francesca Albanese, but you have leading figures and voices who are making the same point about aid deliveries. Matthew, I certainly don't want to go after Francesca Albanese. Let's just look at the facts. No, ju just, uh, she's address making... the, just address the point about I'm happy the humanitarian to, Matthew. Matthew, aid if you will, being if you impeded. Ask me questions, you, you've I'm made the point to, about her. To... Now if talk you, no, about no, the if, issue, which I'm is the obstruction of humanitarian to. aid. The, the point of inviting me on here is to answer the question. So give me an opportunity but not to, to please repeat answer the same the answer questions. is the point I'm making. I'm here. not obviously. Thank you, Matthew, for making that point. I know it's your job to give me a hard time, and I'm happy to receive a hard time. We are a democratic country, and uh, of course, we're not above criticism, and we will take all criticism uh, on the cheek as it's intended. But allow me to reply. Now, my first point to make is is that she has made this pronouncement, but of course, the ICJ, which is the highest court of um, the United Nations did not say there was genocide happening. So no, that's the but first they are point. looking so at these issues. Right. They are currently looking at There is a war going on. So, there so is address, a, of course, forgive me, of course, they should, forgive me because they I'll ask you now two now times will, to address Matthew, the issue if you keep interrupting about me, humanitarian Matthew, aid. Matthew, just address the issue, Matthew, the question no I'm asking point. you. I'm happy to. I'm you, happy to address. So OK, so let me address the issue of humanitarian aid, which is an important point. First things first. All casualties, all casualties of civilians particularly are a terrible thing. They are a tragedy which should not have happened. They have, of course, happened because Hamas declared war on my people. Sorry, my question, on the 7th and of I apologise for, point, if for you continuing allow me, to interrupt if you. you allow my me question to... <laughs> again is about Matthew, impeding allow me humanitarian to aid, point. and it's the third time I've asked you that. Let me tell you about humanitarian aid. Today, just today, two, more than 200 trucks of, of humanitarian aid went into Gaza. The problem is not aid going into Gaza. We are letting as much aid as we possibly can into Gaza. So David been, Cameron think, is wrong. Uh, 18, the issue foreign policy chief is wrong. No, I'm not saying... Let me explain to you what the situation... The issue is distribution. The UN, unfortunately, of which Francesca is a part of, the UN is hopelessly disorganised when it comes to distributing the aid. Hamas are, of course, stealing the aid. And these are images, unfortunately, which are coming out of uh, Gaza. You're not showing the images of bustling markets, which there are in southern Gaza. You're showing uh, more negative images. These are, of course, the images which Hamas wants you to see. I can guarantee you one thing, Matthew, that the no one in Hamas is starving. Hamas steal the aid 
and then they sell it onto the black market for vastly inflated prices. And it is the UN which, unfortunately, has been grossly inefficient. And you UNRWA talked in that answer in about 200 trucks going in. Yeah, more now, than before, 200, 258, I think, today. Before the conflict started, 500 trucks a day were going into Gaza. This Matthew, war has now I, gone if I could on correct you, for... No, if I could correct this, you, um, this, a, there were 78 trucks a day. No, so, sorry, 70 food trucks a day went in to Gaza. Food trucks alone. We're not sending in um, concrete right now for obvious reasons. The They've point I'm going to make is we've use, had 173 yeah. days of this conflict. Before the yes. conflict, 500 trucks a day were going in. If you do the maths, of food, that's 86,500 deliveries a day uh, over that period of 173 days of this conflict. So, Nowhere near this... that amount has gone in. You said, the Israeli government at the start of this conflict, that you were going to stop anything going in and out of the Gaza Strip. That's exactly what you've done, isn't it? Well, let me give you the facts rather than the propaganda. Uh, 18,000 trucks, more than 18,000 trucks have gone in since this uh, conflict. Again, a conflict we didn't want, this war against us that we didn't want. 18,000 trucks have gone in. Uh, I've told you about the looting already by Hamas. Now, the sure. point I want to make I've to you is that, that 17... I've just mentioned that figure 86,000 would have been the figure that went in before, before no, the I'm conflict. I'm talking about food trucks. We're not sending in concrete anymore, Matthew. OK, that the concrete has been used rather than to build schools and hospitals, which is the right thing to do with it. Concrete has been used to build a tunnel network twice the size of, twice the, size of the tube in London, twice the size of the tube in London. It is a crime. Uh, money which should have been built, used to build up the Palestinian people, to give them a chance, to give them a, a hopeful future, was sunk into the ground by okay. the ruthless, terrible people of Hamas. A final now, question then. Can, let me ask you a final on, question. On, on, because you, 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 you've could, had could, now... Could I, could, I reply to the, could I reply to the point about aid which has not been allowed through? Only 1.5% of trucks have been, of, of goods have been denied because of their um, dual use. And most of those have gone in later as well when the offending articles were changed. So it simply isn't true. We must look at the facts right now. We don't want to harm uh, Gazan civilians. We have no interest in har harm harming Gazan civilians. We're after Hamas. We're after the genocidal yeah, uh, murderers of Hamas. And we need our hostages back right now. Just a final thought then, because sure. even the US appears to be losing patience. You saw what happened at the UN Security Council. They've been really open. It would be a mistake to launch a ground offensive in Rasa. Uh, Rafa, why do you think it is that even your staunchest allies are now having real fears about operationally how you're conducting this war? And are you going to change any of the current strategy going forward? Well, unfortunately, this conflict which we're facing right now is not a far-off land of which we know little. It is right on our doorstep. It is hundreds of metres away from our uh, communities. So we haven't got a choice. We need to fight, uh, we need to fight this genocidal uh, gang of murderers. And, you know, the only people that celebrated that UN resolution, which the US unfortunately uh, uh, abstained from, the only people that celebrated, and they said this quite openly, were Hamas and Iran, Iran. Now, I want to tell you, uh, Matthew, that Hamas and Iran are enemies of the UK as well as Israel. So none of us should be rejoicing about this fact of this UN vote. But the Prime Minister has made clear, and with this, for this point, he has the entire backing of this country, the nine or ten million people living here, that Hamas must be destroyed. We must finish the job. As Benny okay. Gantz, uh, our, our, our minister, has said, you cannot put out 80% of the fire and leave 20% uh, going because that fire will again uh, consume uh, uh, Gaza and they will attack us again because that's what they've said. David Mensa, we have to leave it there, but thanks for joining us live here on Thank BC you, Matthew. News. Good thanks to speak to you. Welcome.